Hi, this is Rachel. In my previous video, we looked at converting to standard form. So in this video, we're going to be looking at converting from standard form. So we've got two standard form um, numbers here, and we want to convert them to long form or normal form, um, however you want to call it. So the first thing uh, I want to do is I want to write out the the decimal part of this. So 3.26. And now what I can do is I can add a bunch of zeros to the front and back of this without changing what this number means. So I'm going to add a bunch of zeros to the back because that's still 3.26. Um, it's just now got some zeros there as well. Okay, so in converting um, to standard form, I was counting my places like on a number line, and I do a very similar thing here. So this time I've got times 10 to the power of 5. Now that 5 is a positive number, which again, remember, means we're going to the right. So it's positive five. So what I want to do is I want to move that decimal point, point five places to the positive direction. So that's to the right. So that is one, two, three, four, five. So I've moved it five points to the right. And now I can rewrite this number with a decimal place in the correct place. So that is three, two, six, zero, zero, zero. And I could put the decimal point there, but it's kind of standard not to. But that is my long normal form for 3.26 times 10 to the power of 5. So we have taken a standard form number and made it a big number. Now we can also do this for small numbers. So standard form is used for small numbers and we can take standard form and make it small. So in this top one, I added some numbers to the right hand side for small numbers, so numbers that are to the to the negative power, I'm going to add some zeros to the front. So for this one, let me just add a bunch of zeros and then 5.99. So again, that's still 5.99. I haven't changed the number. I've just added some, um, they're kind of aesthetic zeros, but they're useful for when we're thinking about moving that decimal point. So in this one, my power is a negative, which means that I will be moving this in the negative direction, so left. So I take my decimal point and I move it six places to the left because it's minus six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's six places to the left. So I rewrite this with my decimal point there. There we go. And you can see I've got an extra zero there. So what I could do is just ignore it and just have that one zero in front of the decimal place. And that is a very small number that we have gotten from standard form.